Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by Yukonuba, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. Key to Sam's success are the rigorous training exercises he goes through. We keep Sam's sense of smell at its best by continuation and development training, so we get out as often as possible. We do it in buildings that are used, so there's plenty of smells around, and make the searches as varied and as complicated as we can do. To find out how good Sam's sense of smell is, Sarah puts his nose to the test. These five pans contain similar substances that are found in a house fire, such as wood, polystyrene and foam. The fire tins were all made up with exactly the same matrix within them and the flammable liquid was added to just one of these tins. So the dog was then asked to select the one that had had the flammable liquid added to it. At the saucepan today we used odorless white spirit which has a very, very minute scent to it. Uh, I wouldn't be able to detect it in the saucepan where there's burnt materials in it. As Sam makes his way down the line of saucepans, it doesn't take him long to find the accelerant. Well, without Sam, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the hydrocarbons that are caused naturally through combustion and those that are found in flammable liquids. There's no piece of equipment available to the fire investigation officers um, that can be used on a site. Sarah and Sam are heading to the scene of a fire. On average, they receive about three call-outs a month. They've been called out to a fire in the basement of an apartment block in Brighton. Fortunately, it was not fatal, but the fire department suspects foul play. Now it's Sam's turn to shine. Success in training is all well and good, but this is where Sam will really need to prove his worth. This search hasn't revealed anything suspicious. With Sam's success rate, the fire department can now put the resident's mind at rest and let them know that this was not an arson attack.